Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at ClipChamp. So ClipChamp is a video tool that now I believe has just been bought by Microsoft. So I've logged on and this is the home page you get to. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna to look at how to create a video with AI. So I think video is a really powerful tool. It's great for use with students. Uh, and this I think is a really fab way of doing it. So let's jump straight in. We're gonna to go to, so on the home page here, we're gonna click create video with AI. And I'm going to base this on a trip I did to the Haynes Motor. I can type. Haynes Motor Museum. And then it's going to ask me to click and drag my media there. So I'm just going to use still photographs. If I had some video footage, I would access that, but I don't. So I'm going to grab my, my pictures. And I'm going to drag and drop those in. So it's going to take a moment to upload those. And then I'm going to click get started. And I've got uh, various formats I can choose. So uh, let's go with modern sleep, but you can just go through or you can say choose one for me. Uh, and it will choose uh, a format. And then it's going to give you a choice in how long it should be. So less than 30 seconds or full length. And you can choose whether it's going to be portrait or landscape. And I can click next. It's then going to give you a choice of uh, music. And you can click on it. To get a preview so let's go with keep it moving we can go back and then we can look at font choice so we've got a variety of fonts I kind of like the um, the work sounds so I'm going to go with that and go back so I'm happy with that I can then click play Uh, if I don't like it, I can click create a new version. If I want, I can choose to edit in the timeline. So let's just have a look at that, edit in timeline. It exports it into the editor. So I've got all of the features here and I can go through and I can use the full editor. So if I wanted to, I could go in, um, I could record additional content I could add some other templates and I can tweak this so you can see each image has been laid on a separate timeline and I can move that around as I want. I could add additional text so potentially I'm going to add some text. If I click on the green plus it will add the text for me to the timeline and then I can type in there. I can then grab the handles and I can maneuver that around. But very quickly, I can grab hold of it. I can start to get an idea. I can get a, a video that I like the look of. So I'm going to leave that just there. There's other things I can do. So if I wanted different transitions, I could add those. If I come across, there's I can change the text so I could change the color and the alignment. I could also add some fades if I chose to the way that the images go, but I'm quite happy with how it is. And then I get to the export feature. So if I click export, I've got a choice for the free account of exporting up to 1080p, but I can imagine for, for student submissions, if you just want them to, to create something for initial ideas or just to capture some evidence, then a, a lower res would be fine. If you want the full 4K, then obviously you need to subscribe. I'm gonna stick with 1080p 
and it's going to export that for me and I've got the option to connect it to my OneDrive or my Google Drive or I could upload it directly to uh, YouTube, TikTok, Dropbox or LinkedIn. So a really quick way of creating video content. Um, I think that could be used in lots of ways with your students. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, remember to subscribe to my channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.